Y'all, if there is one person who deserves an early holiday, it is definitely Piper because she has been through the most this year. Piper has literally been in a suffering marathon and she just can't seem to catch a break. It's like Piper's in a spicy soap opera with each day bringing more drama and less peace and she's about ready to change the channel, which brings us to one of her latest predicaments. So y'all already know that the squad fell out because of a very unfortunate and awful reason which we'll talk about shortly. But to see each member coming out with their own departure story is one thing most of us didn't see coming. There have even been rumors that Emily Dobson and Piper's friendship is on the rocks, but like we always say, everything is a rumor until it comes out of the horse's mouth. And it did. Emily Dobson finally confirmed leaving the squad guys, and as it turns out, so much has been going on behind the scenes. Emily's not in the squad anymore. It's a open secret. Let me fill you in on the latest update on Emily Dobson, Piper, and the entire squad. So without further ado, let's get into it. Emily made a TikTok video talking about how her mental health has been dramatically affected. And the caption read, when you're crying because of stress, then it turns into crying over my insecurities, crying over getting a ton of homework, and crying over wanting Chick-fil-A on a Sunday. So basically, Emily was saying she has been having mental breakdowns, which explains why some people believe she's taking a break from social Social media. Furthermore, she hasn't posted videos on her YouTube channel for over three months. To further fuel things, one of the squad's photographers revealed in an interview that apparently Emily stopped shooting with them, even though there hasn't been an official statement about her leaving Piper's squad. Yes, Tiffany made the children sign contracts, but we'll discuss that later on in the video. Let's just first focus on Emily's departure. Piper hasn't been very forthcoming about the whole situation, but she has dropped subtle hints here and there about the state of their friendship. She was on a tour where where numerous of her fans turned up to see their favorite celebrity, but y'all already know that the people wanted to see other squad members too. The fact that Emily was MIA isn't something that Emily was willing to let slide. So when Piper decided to have a Q&A session after one of her shows, literally everyone had just one question. Where is Emily? Apart from the fans who showed up during the tour, the online family also flooded Piper's comment section with this very same concern. Just take a look. Emily was my favorite she doesn't deserve this. People are concerned with Piper, but I am more concerned with Emily because there have been things about what's happening between Emily and Piper, so I think Emily's being forced to do all these. Here's all they had to say about the matter. It's been crazy. But she's currently taking a break from social media and stuff right now to work on herself, family, stuff, school, whatever, right? Well, you miss Emily, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so she's taking a break from social media and stuff right now to work on herself, family, stuff, school, whatever, right? But she's not here today, so that's just to answer your question. Just to, like, knock it out. Not to mention the time when Piper went off on a fan who was innocently inquiring about Emily. The fan wrote, Hey Piper, I was wondering what is happening cause like everyone is saying that Emily left the squad and your mom has also been doing some bad things. What is going on? Piper was so offended by these questions that she responded, Could you and everyone else please stop asking me these questions? It is so disrespectful in so many ways. It hurts my feelings and I hate it. Also loves, isn't it so weird how Piper went off on this fan who literally wasn't rude to her. The funny part is that most people even said it was actually Tiffany who responded and not Piper, which makes sense because she obviously helps Piper handle her social media accounts. In spite of everything that has been said, the most important one is that Emily is okay and taking care of her mental health. On another note, loves, can we talk about the contracts that Tiffany made these kids sign before joining the squad? And this is one thing that most of the ex-squad members have confirmed in the past. Of course, there has to be some sort of agreement because duh, money was involved, and each squad member is directly responsible for the success Piper enjoys to date. However, most people are curious to know, were the squad members really friends or business partners? Like, can we even believe that they genuinely used to hang out as best friends, or was it all for the vibe? Do y'all remember when Gavin uploaded a video on his YouTube channel in November 2019 explaining why he had to break up with Piper when he revealed that their affair was more of a business arrangement that was being managed by none other than Piper's mom, Tiffany, he said that things were so toxic because Piper's mom took total control of his life, including the people he was allowed to hang out with and the events he could attend. Y'all, Piper's mom literally had to approve Gavin before he could hang out with anyone. Gavin managed to put up with all of these unreasonable demands for about seven months, but he said it stopped being fun and he had to stop because his life was becoming very stressful. 11 members of Raquel's 
squad have sued Raquel and her mom, accusing them of sexual battery, intentional infliction of emotional distress, and then trying to destroy their YouTube channels after they left the show. The $22 million lawsuit filed in Los Angeles detailed several instances when Raquel's mother made explicit comments like body shaming one squad member because she had no boobs. Another one said that she once asked him whether his nether regions had developed. Piper's mom could even go as far as talking about adult toys with these kids. The squad members, mostly girls, also confessed to being made to pose or wear clothes that made them uncomfortable. Oh yeah, Tiffany would always tell me to go up into Piper's closet and get something that's more tight and revealing. Fans were super shocked that contracts were involved, which even made it difficult to determine whether the squad members were really friends or whether everything was just a business arrangement. Wait, you're telling me that they had to sign a contract to make friends? Emily left though. Piper and Emily were best friends apparently. OMG, a contract? That's too far. What Tiffany has done to Piper is so sad. Do you know that most people still hold on to the opinion that the squad's fallout is all Tiffany's fault? And where is the lie? Because had she been a decent grown-up, the squad members wouldn't be suing her for thousands of dollars over very awful and dehumanizing allegations, like a toxic work environment, financial exploitation, and being forced to do obscene things. Just to show how toxic Tiffany was to the squad, a fan asked Gavin if Piper's mom really offered him a vape when he was younger, and even though he seemed uncomfortable at first, saying he couldn't answer that question, he eventually said yes. Is it just me who thinks the fact that he didn't want to answer means that she did because why else would he hesitate? As if all of this wasn't enough, ex-squad members have also revealed how Tiffany would go out to hurt all of their efforts of starting their own YouTube channels. Some of them have even reported having their channels reported for violating YouTube terms of service and community guidelines. And you know how YouTube works, the more strikes you get, the higher the chances of your channel being brought down. So this woman didn't only allegedly harass and abuse a bunch of kids, She's also apparently made it her life mission to ensure they never prosper. Like, she just derives so much joy from harassing a bunch of kids. And do you know how she managed to get away with it for so many years, making them sign contracts with unreasonable terms and conditions? As we wait to see how things unfold for Emily, Piper, and the squad, we can only hope for all of the drama to stop and for them to solve their differences peacefully. It is evident that so many people still love them. Anyways, loves, I would love to hear your opinion on this situation down below. Also, don't forget to click on the tab for more videos on these celebrities and influencers.